For FNAB, prepare the site and locate the node or mass using your fingers. After locating, get a 10 ml syringe and push it gently into the tissue. You can move the syringe back and forth to collect the sample and also in all the directions. You can take help of the thumb of your other hand to support your syringe. As soon as you remove the syringe, press the site of collection firmly with the help of cotton or bandage. Now put the required amount of sample on a glass slide and pump out rest of the collection in a container. For incision and drainage, prepare the site and use blade tent for making an incision. Make an incision gently and press firmly to squeeze out the pus. Use cotton and gauze to squeeze out the pus and clean the site. Try to squeeze out all the pus from the abscess site. And you can make a further incision to increase the flow of drainage. Now make sure the abscess is almost drained with the help of forceps. Now put the pack into the cut so that it will help us to keep the incision site open and also in the drainage of left over abscess. Leave the pack halfway outside as shown. For local anesthesia, take 5 ml lignocaine in a syringe and insert the needle just under the skin distal to the site of injury. After completely inserting the needle, aspirate a little bit first to rule out the possibility of insertion into a blood vessel. Then keep injecting in all directions from the same site of injection. For elliptical incision, examine the skin tag and hold it with a tissue forceps. Now hold the blade 10 scalpel in a pencil grip and start dissecting subcutaneously and make sure the area comes into the same plane. For simple interrupted suture, hold the needle with a needle holder and insert the needle 90 degree perpendicular to the skin and bring it out from the site of incision through subcutaneous tissue. Now insert the needle subcutaneously on the other side and pull it out as shown. Take help of forceps but don't hold the needle from the tip. Now to tie a knot, wrap the thread around needle holder and pull the short end of the thread towards you and after that away from you. The knot in this manner alternatively multiple times to make sure the knot won't untie. Now cut the extra thread from the suture. As you can see it's done. Now continue suture. For continuous suture Insert the needle same way we did for simple interrupted and tie a knot. Here I am doing hand knot tying. You can also use needle holder for tying the knot as done previously. Similarly, tie the knot at least three times to make it strong. Now, 
perform the suturing in similar fashion but continuously without tying a knot. The depth of suture and the distance between two sutures on the skin are tried to kept same. For that you can also use marker prior suturing at a particular distance so that the gap between the suture remains the same. After anticipating the last suture, keep the loop open as shown and then tie a knot by pulling that loop towards you. And then similarly do that in reverse direction. To understand, you can imagine the loop of the last suture as short and as taught previously and do the knotting in similar manner. Now cut the extra suture. As you can see the continuous suture is done. For continuous interlocking suture follow the same first step as taught before and tie a knot here I am using needle holder to tie a knot. When you are done tying the knot, cut the extra suture from short end. Now time for second suture. When you pull out the suture, make sure you pass it through the loop formed between first and second suture. Pass it through the loop and now start doing your third suture. For that you have to insert it 90 degrees perpendicular in the same fashion as done previously. It's better to take assistance from someone who can hold the loop tightly, pull it so the suture is tightly stitched. Similarly as done before, pass the needle through the loop again. And make your fourth suture. When you anticipate the last suture, ask your assistant to leave the loop and just tie the knot similarly imagining the loop as your shorthand of suture and do it multiple times as shown. Now at the end, cut the extra threads or the sutures as you can see it's done. In vertical mattress, the first step is same as all other sutures but the second step is different and I'll show you how. Make sure to put the suture inside at a gap, a larger gap than other sutures from the incision and when first suture is about to done, don't tie it, rather use back hand in needle holder grip and put it back so that the thread is leaving out the site of incision from the same side. Now tie the knot using needle holder. Tie it multiple times and later I'll show you how the suture looks like in vertical mattress. It's better to keep the short end 
shorter i have kept it longer but it's better to keep it shorter so that it's easy to tie a knot now cut the extra suture now as you can see there is knot at the same side now similarly in horizontal mattress we tie the knot at the same side or you can say that suture is leaving from the skin from the same side of incision but here it's not vertical the knot is horizontal follow the first step similarly but when doing backhand maintain the gap between the suture as shown and pull it out the trick of tying the knot with needle holder is very simple and i will tell you how when you loop around the needle holder and you have to loop away from yourself then you have to pull the short end towards you and when you loop the uh, suture around the needle holder towards you you have to keep the short end away from you now cut the extra suture and the suturing is done this is horizontal suture this is continuous suture this is continuous interrupted suture and this is vertical suture and this is horizontal for foley catheter insertion first of all use your non dominant hand to hold the genital straight and use betadine to clean the site at least 3 cotton betadine should be used and after that put lignocaine into the urethra which also lubricates it and then insert the foley catheter avoid touching the foley catheter and use the plastic it's covered with to insert it once inserted completely and dripping of urine is seen from the foley catheter inject water into the foley catheter to inflate the balloon so that it won't come out and the balloon is inflated inside the bladder in female hold the labia away and clean it with different swabs and then use lignocaine into the urethra and then put the foley catheter consider your non dominant hand holding the labia always contaminated and then inject sterile water according to the balloon size it's generally 10 ml thanks for watching